What other areas are you seeing implementation in the Department of Defense? It's actually thinking and tying the thinking to execution. We may have talked about it or mentioned it is there's a SPART wingman program. So like the F-35, incredibly network-based fighter. And what it's able to do is able to have a smart wingman, which is basically an AI-controlled fighter. So usually you have a four ship and it's four pilots. Well, at this point, you're having a lead ship, an F-35, and a couple of wingmen, which are all AI-driven, flown aircraft. So usually in, say, a four ship like that, number one is telling the others what to do. It's doing the same thing, but it's doing it electronically. So these are things that you could send forward and see if they're going to get shot at. Or there's the things that are saying, hey, keep my six or keep my back clear. And they're completely doing that. So you have one fighter, one pilot put at risk, but four fighter jets out there. That's one of the most complex things going on in AI right now. But tied to what you also said is, you know, to be able to analyze all the things that are going out there. When you're looking at a battlefield, you're looking at weather, you're looking at terrain, the electronics area, what what can missiles shoot at me? So usually it was the carbon-based brain bucket that we're using to try to figure that out. Now it's being done in mill or microseconds, completely analyzed. Imagine if it took you hours to create a mission plan and it's being done in a snap of a finger where you've just accelerated, excuse my expression, some people don't like it, the kill chain, but hey, guess what? That's the job. So you're talking about incredible acceleration. And so that's how we see it from Again, the execution of actually flying jets going into combat to analyzing all the intelligence and mission planning. 